Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about if, elif, else and a nested if statement. In the previous video, we have already completed if and if else and this video is the continuation of previous topic. The third one is if, elif, else statement. Suppose we will be in a situation to check multiple conditions one by one. If that is the scenario, then this is the best example if, elif, else. I think while writing the algorithm for the data scientist, we use a lot. How this works is, first it will try to check whether the condition is true or false. If it is true, it will execute the block of code, then it will come out of execution. In case, if it is false, then it will go to the next condition. Like that one by one by one, it will keep on check. Suppose it doesn't satisfy any of the condition and finally it will go and execute the else statement. It allows us to check for multiple expression. One important thing is if block can have only one else block, you have to remember this, but we can have any number of elif block. The syntax is very easy. If else, you know very well. In between that, we have to include the elif test expression. Let's see with an example. We already seen this program before. Now we have a condition. For example, if the number is zero, what will happen? Because here you are saying either positive or negative number, but we have an another condition number equal to zero. Then elif num equal to zero colon print number is zero. This is how we can include any number of condition using elif. When you run positive number, put the number as zero and run it, you will get the number is zero. One more example, let me directly explain the code. It is used to find how many digits the number which you have entered. If the value is between 9 to 99, then we say it as two digit number elif 99 to 999 it's a three digit number then 999 to four nines it is a four digit number and so on we can include any number of elif statement at the end else if someone enter a invalid number then we have to mention the number is not in the mentioned range just run it since it is 100 three digit number is executed now the output is four digit number when you enter some other number, you will get number is not in the mentioned range. This is how we have to use the elif statement. Then one more important note, Python does not provide switch or case statement as in other language because in other language we have a switch statement, but in Python we can't do it. Let me show another program based on your number. It will display which month it belongs to. If it is one, it is January, two, it is February like that. How we coded us if the month number, whatever the number you are entering here, it will compare. If it is equal to one, then it will print January month. Elif, if it is two, then fifth month like that. So on, make sure you're mentioning the colon. If none of this condition is satisfied, then finally it will display enter a valid number. Here the input is 10. So we have to get October as output run it you will get the october month make it 12 and run it you will get december month if you give some other value and run it enter a valid number the final concept is nested if nested means inside one if you can include one more if let's see with the syntax but one big note try to avoid a nested if that's an advice i can give because this will confuse a lot the syntax here is if this expression one is passed then only one more if statement will be executed this is called nested if this same program we modified as a nested if here within a if another if run it you'll get a positive number when you mention zero and run it you'll get zero when you mention negative number then you'll get a negative number so we have covered if elif else and a nested if all the materials are the program which I am teaching here. You can find it in this link, which I will mention in the video description. If you still have any query, you can message me. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.